I'm now continuing on from the first video where we created the cover letter. What I've done now is uh, shrunk the cover letter uh, Word document down some. I'm going to move it over here a little. And as you can see, it uh, didn't work quite right. Okay. And so now I've got it moved over here. And down here, again, is Word Project 2. I'm now downloading the resume sample document. Now, in here, what I'm going to do is open it. And I'm using two uh, monitors here. So one of them, uh, when I do that, uh, sometimes it opens up on one monitor and sometimes in another one. So I'm trying to keep it on the one that you can see. In this resume, there are a whole variety of ways you can make the resume. Um, I don't have a big preference on how it is. Uh, this just happens to be one that we may use. We may want to uh, uh, you know, Pause this. I'm not sure what just happened. Well, I'm uh, showing you how that sometimes uh, everybody has problems. Uh, Word just decided. Well, I'm uh, showing you how that sometimes uh, everybody has problems. Uh, Word just decided to quit working for me. I'm not sure why, but now I've recovered that. And so again, we're looking at the resume sample. On here, you would be putting your name here, your address here, email, your permanent address. If you only had a permanent address, you, of course, would modify that. Okay, here is your objective. Okay, if you remember back here in the Word document, what we said over here is position. Okay, so what I want to make sure we do over here his objective would be to dis to secure a something position. So here would be a sample of what that could be. Now, hopefully, you can make this more. You could also uh, you could make this so it fit for everything. If you can't, you could also make that part of your mail merge. So what I'm going to change this to is I'm going to make it position again. Then I'm going to put in there. Now, you may or may not have the rest of this here. Again, this is your, your uh, tweaking your own personal resume. In here, you're going to have your education. So, of course, we would have to put the date that you're graduating here. You would have your qualifications going through here. You would have what jobs you have uh, had. You would put all of this in here. Any honors, any other information. One of the things you should make sure that you do is if you're working 25 or 30 hours a week, if you're carrying 17 credits, if you have personally funded your education, if you have other activities, be sure and put those down, okay? And then what they recommend here is after the resume is complete, make sure the borders don't show, okay? So what we would do so that the borders don't show is up here on, um, yeah, let's try here click here and on that we have borders and shading and what we would do is here it shows what borders show up if I click here it goes to none when I click OK then evidently I was just on the one so now I've got the whole thing highlighted I click here I click borders and shading. I click none. Now they are all gone. So it looks like this. Now it's up to you, you know, what your advisors advise you to do here. Again, notice it's only position. Now, when I have this completed, what I can do is hit Control A, and that highlights everything. 
everything in the document is highlighted then. Okay, then I can hit Control C to copy, or I can right click and copy, or I could go up and pull down the edit command and copy. However you want to do it, I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm then going to open up my other document. And remember, I hit Control Enter, so I have a second page. I now hit Control V, and this now comes up on the second page. Now, there's one problem with the way this looks on the second page now. And that is that I have gone over the length of one page. Your document should only be one page. One of the problems is here on my paragraph formatting. So I can highlight that. And then if I hit Control and push the left mouse button down and highlight this, I can then go to Home, Paragraph, and here is line spacing after. I could change that to zero and click OK. And in line spacing after, I can make it single. That guarantees that I have a smaller position there. Now, it may be that I want to do that for the whole document. If I do that again, I can highlight the whole rest of the document. And again, go to Paragraph and make my line spacing single and make it zero and click OK. Now if I look, I can see my document now is closer to the same. If I delete this here, I'm now up to the top. I look at my positioning, and then I would want to delete this at the end. I hit backspace is an easier way to go back. And now you can see everything fits. Now when you're doing this, you need to find some way for it to fit. Now we look at the resume again, and position is the only thing that I really want to change. If you want, well, there is one other possibility. To do this, you could also put in here after position, you could go at, and you could put in company. This then really makes it specific to the company. I'm not sure if I recommend that. Again, you can get advice for that. I just want to show you the two ways to do this. Now, this is all now in one document, right? So we now have the cover letter here and the resume here. All in one document, everything I can do, use. So that is going to be the end of this video and this explanation. And then the next one will go over the mail merge portion and how we get this to be unique.